This empirical research examines Nigeria's critical dimensions of infant mortality and access to primary health care centers as a behavioral tendency capable of shaping the present and future of infancy, childhood, the family, and the nation. I carried out this research in Buhari local government area using both quantitative and qualitative data. I used questionnaires with structured and unstructured questions. And also I did some in-depth interview with opinion leaders. My findings uh, include uh, the fact that behavior of pregnant mothers, nursing mothers, they are affected by the environment. That's principally the research finding, the main research finding. The respondents, these are pregnant women and nursing mothers, they have relatively high literacy. They have high urban residency and are mainly civil servants. In addition to this, health talks from professionals within the vicinity and in fact the hospitals where we carried out this research. All this helped to shape their orientation towards motherhood and nurturing of infants. Um, yet, despite these findings that the environment, that is government policies and programs and practices, and then also cultural practices, religion, politics, they shape human behavior. In this case, mothers and their children, their infants, Nigeria is light years behind in addressing these issues that would have improved the conditions of infants and then national development. Well, to meet its health challenges and health development needs, Nigeria should summon the political will to increase health budgets, plan adequately for health, and particularly primary health care services, and also improve the education of women so that they will have the orientation of availing themselves of all the facilities available in the community for improved lifestyles, socioeconomic uh, welfare of the family, the, the community, and finally, the nation as a whole. That is basically the summary of the research. Now, globally, infant mortality decreased in advanced economies, more developed economies, more than developing or less developed economies, according to WHO, report that is World Health Organization. Every day in Nigeria, many lives are lost due to inequality, global inequalities and inability of pregnant mothers to access healthcare services. Today, it is 9,000 day old babies die in Nigeria yearly. Nigeria has the 12th highest rate of first day deaths in the world, making it one of the riskiest places to be born, according to UNICEF. Infant mortality rates symbolizes a measure of a country's health policies, systems, and practices, and aspects of its national development. It's often associated with socioeconomic factors of unemployment, poverty, income disparity, among others. Infant and maternal um, mortalities should be contextualized in the overall national development policies and practices. This is a problem in Nigeria. The whole report of 2019 states that contraceptive prevalence rates among Nigerian women aged 15 to 49 years is only 9%. The social making of sexual and reproductive health and reproductive rights among these women averages only 51%, meaning that decisions on child spacing pregnancies had been undertaken mainly by the husbands, by the male. This does not encourage well-being of mothers and infants. Well, the reports available, statistics indicate that there are disparities in this issue of maternal and infant mortality. It is more prevalent in the rural than urban areas and also more in the northern part of the country than in the southern part. So, solutions have to be found. 
Childhood may be devoid of physical, mental, and psychological well-being. Acceptable intellectual, intelligent questions, cognitive ability, good education, and expected psychosocial development. The future implication is the manifestation of aggregate effects of the foregoing challenges and may include low human development index, frustration, deviance, crimes, tensions, and all negative tendencies in societies like you have presently in Nigeria. They reflect a disjointed healthcare system which needs remediation because they are reversible. Nigeria needs to create wealth through good health policies and programs. The objective of this study is actually to investigate the relationship between environmental determined attributes of nursing mothers and child survival and hence socioeconomic development. Specifically, I try to look at education and related attributes of mothers, then social economic status of parents and also I try to establish nursing mothers attributes and adoption of modern maternal healthcare nexus. I we tried to uh, test three we, we, we tested three hypotheses and uh, they are one and the higher the mother's education the more they are likely to access primary health care. The second one is the higher the parental social economic status the more likely the access to health care and finally Urban parents are more likely to assess primary health care than rural parents. The significance of this study is that it will enable us to identify the dimensions of infant mortality. Failure in nurturing and establishing sound, uh, sound infancy and childhood is a threat to children and national development. Nigeria's situation is critical. Attention of this research is to solve problems by determining the causative factors that impede women's well-being. The study can identify that for means and direction to create a healthy mother and children population capable of driving an acceptable standard that can produce good results towards infant survival. The significance of this study research is that it attempts to establish a relationship between characteristics of mothers, including education and their child Childcare behaviors, specifically with respect to assessing healthcare services for child survival. This can also provide baseline data for existing studies to improve on research and improving the healthcare system generally, and then primary healthcare, particularly with infant, infants in poverty. And this is what Nigeria needs as of now. The article also, the, the research also identifies women's status and empowerment levels relative to men, their decision-making powers on matters that concern their lives, self-esteem, emotion. Nigeria actually is more of a gender society. The women appear to be powerless in the social system, and they can hardly determine issues concerning their life, their well-being, and their children. Um, this research We'll, in this research, we looked at the concept of primary health care. Actually, it was given impetus in Russia in 1978 by the World Health Organization. Nigeria actually adopted um, a health care system, a very comprehensive one, in 1988. And uh, though it had been in existence, but it has not been a very robust one, uh, it was there in Nigeria's um, first national development plan. Uh, which was uh, done as far back as uh, 1946, yeah, 1946 to 1950 or so. And uh, initially, it was the British colonial army and also the um, missionaries that established clinics, hospitals, mainly in the southern part of the country and also in the Middle Belt. But they were actually not well coordinated. And with military, government, in succession, health issues were actually neglected. And they need to be resuscitated and improved upon if we have to halt the cases of high infant mortality. Nigeria is very endemic. In Nigeria, infant mortality rate is high. The global infant mortality rate 
for less developed countries LDCs and more developed countries had declined from 198 in 1960 to 83 in 2001. But in Nigeria, it is the highest in Africa. About 5.9 million babies are born in Nigeria every year and nearly 1 million children die before the age of 5 years. One quarter of all under 5 deaths are newborns, which account for most of the babies that are born in Nigeria. Mortality indices for Nigeria under 5 year old are among the global worst. Rural areas record highest or higher mortality rates than urban areas, according to the National Democratic Health Sector Report of 2015, with the North, East, and Northwest having the worst cases. Causes of infant mortality rates may range from medical to social, economic, cultural factors in a polity that exists also in all countries, including the United States of America. Among the causes are sudden infant death syndrome, low birth weight, poverty, malaria, diarrhea, lack of vitamin A, lack of vitamin A, and also polio and other related diseases. We also have cases of acute respiratory syndrome. Acute respiratory infections are endemic in Nigeria, cough or manners of respiratory diseases on the upper and lower respiratory tracts. They are very, very common in Nigeria and they are considered to be the fourth leading cause of death of infants in the country. These are factors that have been established by data and Nigeria apparently has some challenges to solve these problems. I carried out this, we carried out this research in Buare using women of reproductive age in Buare General Hospital and some other outlier communities with primary health centers. Buhari is a place with ambience of modernity that is you have modern institutions um jump joint and um, matriculation and uh, joint admission matriculation board you have nigerian law school you have a university there and they provide women that is uh, um, childbearing women with opportunities to improve their lives and hence in uh, kind of target improvements in the survival rates of infants born to them. So this is the reason why we carried out that research to see a kind of correlation. If the environment in Buhari will have uh, you know, positive impacts on women's um, childbearing behavior and also child nurture, infant nurturing behavior. The sample technique was work in customer and purposive sampling. We sample women who were coming in for clinics um, who are coming with pregnancies or with their infants. And then we, 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 we establish rapports with them, inform them of the research, which is for their own good. And of course, we observed the best ethical standards, confidentiality, anonymity, and then the purpose of the research, which was mainly academic for their own good and the good of society. We did reliability and um, validity tests, and I trusted our um, data collection tools, at least to meet the normal standards. We also in, um, saw data, collected data from opinion leaders, six, five of them, uh, six of them rather, and they gave us good insights. They gave us what information that could not be captured through questionnaires. Uh, we did the data analysis um, using coding sheets and uh, frequency tables, percentages, and the use of means and modes. And of course, we tested the hypothesis using chi-square analysis. The respondents, most of them, the modern figure for the age is between 21 and 25 years, and um, most of them had tertiary education. In fact, 57 of them had tertiary education, and um, 
or another aspect of their biodata is that most of them are relatively poor. They earn between 10 to 30,000 monthly, and that is 35% of the table data. Also, the husband's monthly income could be regarded as something minimal. In fact, it has a mode of only 20%, and that represents those re uh, receiving 31 to 50,000 naira per month. In this case, this is a poor uh, community if we are talking about global standard of uh, living. Global income wise, it is very low, both the husband and the wife. The World Bank situation, the World Bank said that Nigeria is the worst, the worst poverty capital. That was in 2018. When we tested, when we analyzed further, we observed that respondents delivered their babies mainly in the primary health center, 60% of them actually, and then only a few of the well, 30% at home, and uh, that is an indication that they are enlightened. In terms of uh, child immunization, only 26% of them do that between three to four months. Only three to four months. Whereas those who do it one to two months, there are only 26%. We also discovered that Child daily feeding was regarded by the respondents as um, four times a day, and that is the modern figure. Some feed their children six times a day, which is 32%. Uh, you know, the modern figure is those that feed four times a day, 4.2, and then six times 32.3. But according to McKenzie in 2019, Mothers should breastfeed their newborn babies between four to eight times daily, depending on age, using the age by age feeding guide. So we can see that this falls short of global standard. The women considered their diet as adequate, or balanced rather, 90% of them say so. Well, that is their, by their own definition. Respondents' place of treatment for self and babies, where do they treat? their children and themselves. Of course, the modern figure is 82% in the primary health care centers, though about 12% still patronize traditional homes, which is not advisable. The means of assessing primary health centers, 51% of them do so by car. Some do that by motorcycle, that is 44%. And of course, three percent do that by bicycle, being driven to the primary health care center by bicycle. You can see the poverty in the area. And one percent using donkeys. The relationship between educational level and access to primary health care centers. We tested this hypothesis and our result did not support the null hypothesis. The finding does not support Tenola 2013 that the higher a woman's level of education, the higher the immunization coverage. But this could be attributed to certain factors as the health personnel offer expectant and nursing mothers health uh, tips during clinic sessions. They advise them to encourage others to visit the hospital and avail themselves of some free services. The presence of tertiary institutions, they are also kind of enlightened people there. Also, we have faith-based organizations, we have um, philanthropists that visit such places and uh, distribute money and some welfare um, essentials to these mothers. This kind of ameliorated the effect of education. That is what we're trying to say is that the factors have enlightened and attracted some illiterate and poverty-driven mod poverty mothers to avail themselves of the free health services. For example, two of the opinion leaders said, Buhari is a big family. The women maintain good hygiene and take care of their infants. We take maternal and infant health seriously. You can see our illustrated health posters within the hospital. The second hypothesis, that is the relationship between mothers, socioeconomic status, and access to primary 
healthcare. In this analysis, our hypothesis, our our, our uh, proposition was supported. Our alternative hypothesis was supported that the higher the socioeconomic status of parents, the more likely they access primary health care centers. And of course, hypothesis three also uh, on the relationship between mother's residents and access to primary health care services, our hypothesis was supported that there is a relationship between parents, residents, and assessing primary health care centers. And discussing this result, there is therefore overwhelming evidence that there is a relationship with um, pregnant mothers, nursing mothers, behaviors on childbirth, child rearing, and also the environment. Our study reveals that most respondents of reproductive age acquire tertiary education, work as civil servant, and reside in urban centers. None of the respondents has lost a child. They avail themselves of the services available. Besides the fact that they are well educated, most of them. Data reveals that the rate of infant mortality in the council is very, very low, generally. We also observed that the hospital, the environment, the health care centers are people are, 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 are populated by people who kind of get committed to their assignments. They find pleasure in educating and offering services, and even going the extra mile in managing child birth issues. The situation is such that the population appears to be in alignment with the philosophy of saving lives, young infants, and the lives of their mothers, and improving their life chances. And in that case, development within the area. And this, when extrapolated, can also reveal what is happening in the country. The summary of this is that mothers' education, place of residence, birth survival, weight of weight of children at birth, skill of birth attendance, water situation, hygiene situation, all these are very, very important ingredients in improving health or environmental situation in Buhari. And that could be presumed to prevail in other parts of the country. But the issue is this. Moraki on Twitter and self said, these factors have been pointed out in literature, but not much progress has been recorded in retracing the burden. So that's where the problem lies. The above and our findings implicate exclusiveness and poor health outcomes in resource allocation within a policy. A extractive institution based on such concepts as elite rule, impunity, narrow-mindedness, and autocracy, among others, are the main causes of underemployment. Nigeria should therefore reverse the situation. Nigeria could adopt double-digit budget, public-private partnerships for health sector development, revamping rural social infrastructure, gender balance and resource allocation, and reducing governance costs. Reflecting Nigeria's poverty profile, the, bio, the, the, the lab technologies involved in this research could Many mothers cannot transport themselves for medical tests due to poverty. Governments should create jobs. Those who come here get free tests. The six opinion leaders, they, are, they kind of give a feeling to our family, hear them. There is poverty in rural areas where the women are not as lucky as the urban counterparts. We are lucky being part of Abuja. Rural areas lack primary health care centers. Many are non-functional, lacking equipment and trained personnel. Government should improve health budget, financially induce rural health personnel to retain them. Otherwise, brain drain, maternal and infant mortality will continue to rise. Women need empowerment. That is the cross of the matter. Nigeria should develop both the rural and urban, allocate more to health services. Nigeria should summon that political will and eliminate the extant exclusive governance. When you don't do this in a polity, it means that children have been denied their life and their future. Nigeria should engage an inclusive model towards social justice, 
opportunities for female empowerment in decision making and business startup facilitation for gender balance development. Empowered women transform Nigeria and society. That should be the guiding principle. Thank you very much for listening.